We continue to monitor monkeypox cases, and while the majority of them in New York State are in New York City, the virus has moved upstate, and that includes Tompkins County. Joining us now, Rachel Buckwalter. She's the Senior Community Health Nurse for Tompkins County. Rachel, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Um, so first off, I, I want to ask you, how surprised um, were you, and I say you, the collective uh, health officials down in Tompkins County, to actually see a case of monkeypox? Not too surprised. We've been working closely with our um, regional office through the New York State DOH, and we've been watching the numbers from New York City mm -hmm. um, and anticipating that with a lot of travel between upstate and the city that we would soon be seeing a case. Um, how much, if you've seen one case, and we know there's certainly in some other upstate uh, counties, uh, that it's here maybe more than the actual official numbers indicate. For instance, is there a second case in Tompkins County most likely? Are there in other counties that we may not know of or will it be coming soon? What's the level do you think realistically? Um, there certainly might be some cases that have not gotten tested yet, some suspected cases that are waiting for test results. Um, the way that monkeypox is spreading right now, it's it's interesting that the, the rash can be very minor mm. and it can be in places in your body that you might not see. So um, we do anticipate there, there could be more cases out there that we don't know about yet. Um, certainly uh, it's of concern uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, it doesn't obviously seem to have the caseload that something like a COVID does. So the, the numbers are relatively low when you compare it to, when you compare it to that. Um, how concerned should we all be of it right now? Sure. Um, you know, I think we're not going to see like mass shutdowns like mm -hmm. we did with COVID. Um, it's not like sitting next to somebody on public transportation, it's that high of a risk. What we're really seeing more of is it takes close, intimate, skin-to-skin -skin contact for, for monkeypox to be spread from person to person. So um, how do you know, um, like you said, sometimes it may be a very minor rash. Um, do you have to kind of consider what your contact may or may not have been? Again, how intimate maybe you have been recently. And if you start to see something, maybe it's not something you got walking um, on a trail or something like that. Maybe I, what do you do, call the doctor? Are there mass testing sites for this? What do you, what do, you do? Yes. So usually the symptoms start, there's something called a prodrome where you have a fever. It's like an onset of like a flu-like um, symptoms. So fever and then there's lymphadenopathy, which means swollen lymph nodes. Um, that's being seen a lot with cases right now. And then after that onset of fever and swollen lymph nodes, you will see the rash start to erupt. Um, so what we re recommend to people is they seek care. Um, if you feel sick, stay home, limit your contact with others, and seek care from your health care provider. And we've been giving a lot of guidance to health care providers on mm -hmm. how to get how to send specimens for testing. There are several uh, national labs that do testing now. At first, it was only available through our state public health lab, but now there's LabCorp, Mayo, several mm -hmm. uh, private labs doing testing. Um, how do you, because it starts off, as you said, with probably most likely um, fever. I don't know how quickly it gets to that rash stage, but could you potentially misdiagnose yourself and thinking, well, it's fever, maybe it's COVID. Um, I did a home yeah. test. It's not COVID, or at least it's coming back negative. Uh, maybe I've just got some sort of illness. I caught something else. Is it is it easily misdiagnosed by us, the, the untrained? Um. You know, I don't think it has as many respiratory symptoms as something like COVID or flu. Um, it's that fever, not feeling well, um, swollen lymph nodes. So, you know, you can think about the exposure that you might have had. Obviously, if someone that you've been clo in close contact with tells you they've been diagnosed with monkeypox, yeah. then you should consider that these symptoms might be that and that you should seek care and get tested. Got about 30 seconds left, Rachel. Um, what, what sort of treatment options are, are out there? Is it simply getting a vaccine? Um, what, do you, what do you do if you're diagnosed? Um, if you're diagnosed, it's mostly symptomatic care. There is um, a drug called Ticoviramat. I just heard about it on a healthcare provider webinar. I'm not a prescriber. Mm -hmm. I don't know that much about it. I know there's some special, um, you have to sign up to be a provider to be able to prescribe that. Um, and then close contacts should be vaccinated. If they're vaccinated within four days, um, it's much more likely to work to prevent the illness. 
Rachel Buckwalter, Senior Community Health Nurse for Tompkins County. Rachel, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.